Let us pray. Before we pray, let me let me pick my um, excuse me. Let me pick my uh, my stool. For those of you who have decided to be here tonight and the Spirit of God has brought you here, I want to thank you. This is Idikai Mary welcoming you to the, the Feast of Trumpet. In the, uh, in the Hebrew Jewish calendar, this is the beginning of the new year. The Feast of Trumpet um means it means head of the year head of the year it is very important that we do not need to wait until the until we arrive at the uh, december 31st for us to enter into the new year it makes more sense that we enter the year long before the Gregorian calendar uh, sets in the year. You see, I have come to the place where I've come to know that God's own calendar is different from, uh, from the civil uh, calendars that we are using. God's own calendar has to deal with the season and cycles and signs and days and years. For example, we are in 2014. We are in a seven-year period whereby something epic will happen, something big will happen. I started talking about the Spirit of God started speaking through me about um, judgments and the blessings as far back as last year. 2018. These are things that are beyond me. These are things that I do not sit down to contemplate on them. It comes upon me, the Lord pour it into me and say, go and tell my people about this. Tonight, we are going to pray and usher in the biblical year. We are going to pray mighty prayers tonight because there is a call for battle and there is a call for joy and I'm going to share with each and every one of you shortly the reason why we celebrate the Feast of Trumpet what does it stand for in the Christian Bible in the New Testament what are we waiting for the Feast of Trumpet is among the three fall, uh, uh, the three feasts that happens in the fall. Three of them are going to happen in the fall that have not yet been fulfilled in the Bible. The, 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 the Pascha, the Passover, the Feast of, of, the of Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of First Fruit, the Feast of Pentecost, they've all been fulfilled already. But these other three, the Feast of Trumpets, the Feast of, uh, of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacle, they've not yet been fulfilled. In ancient time, there was no clear demarcation between the Christian church and the Jewish community or the Jewish synagogues and so on. If you read the Acts, you will see Paul still saying that he is going to go to Jerusalem to celebrate certain feasts. Tonight, I want to congratulate you for joining me because there is something that I discovered some years ago. There was something that I was uh, dealing with that had to do with finances and taxes and whatever. And during that time that that thing was denied, 
I happened to celebrate the feast of the atonement, the Yom Kippur. I was going through a period of consecration, repentance, and so on and so forth. Shortly after that, God came in. Because you see, we do these things in order to submit ourselves to God. So that God can carry you with his own wing. That's what is that's a metaphor we use for God carrying you with his hand. Tonight we are going to solemnly listen to the beginning of the days ahead of us. And so we are going to 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 to, to listen to the shofar being blown all the way from Jerusalem at this minute. Beginning last year, 2018, a wind began to blow in the horizon. People of God, I said this with tears welling up inside me. That even those of us who are Christian leaders are not aware of what is about to happen on planet Earth. It is not business as usual. It is not business as usual. Tonight, you are a witness that the trumpet has been sounded in the Zion of the church. Governments of the nations have been doing business their way. People have been living their life their way. And there's been a massive neglect of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A massive neglect of his way of doing things. And people of God, the neglect of God carries with it a very big penalty. The neglect of Jesus and of the Holy Ghost carries with it judgment. Today marks the beginning of a new year, a new day in our calendar. There are different kinds of new year in the cycles. This is one of them. A portal has happened in the heavenlies. There is an opening in the heavens. Right now. But only those who come to God with repentance and vow that they will not return back to their life of sin and death and suffering. Only those who have vowed a sacred covenant with Jesus that he is Lord, he is King, he is Savior. Only those who have invited him into the system of governance of this earth are the people whose name are going to be written in the book of life. Tomorrow you're going to hear at 12 noon, central time tomorrow. In fact, today already, we've entered today. And at 6 p.m. in the evening. And at 9 p.m. in the evening, all of them central time. You're going to hear at different time from different ways the different things that are going to happen on planet Earth. And when it comes to the issue of prophecy, God doesn't speak easily through me. So that when he opens my mouth to say something, they begin to happen. On January 1, among other things I, that he spoke through me, 
I talk about the Russian invasion. And he wanted the United States and Canada and Europe to hear it and be prepared not to allow it to happen. God does not give us prophecy for us to dance around or enjoy around. It is given to us to awaken us to a major breakthrough or a major event that is to come. And then get us prepared so as if it is going to be evil, so as to stop it. If it is going to be good, so as to bring it into existence. The Feast of Trumpet make us to know that we are not to wait for the enemies to blow their own trumpet against us. We are the one to blow our trumpet against them. See, when the trumpet is blown, whether the trumpet of your heart or the shofar from the ram's horn, And if it is blown from the spirit, heaven is moved to bless and hell is shaken for condemnation. Don't let anybody fool you that there is no division between good and evil. Business as usual is no longer what is going to be happening on planet Earth. There are nations that God is going to depart from. And we pray that our nation will, be one of, will not be one of them. There are nations that God is going to begin new things with. There are people that God is going to start a new generation with. New businesses. New families. It's not everything the people of the world are doing that you are supposed to do. Because the judgment that has started is a mighty wind that will blow people away. That's why all this abortion thing, gay things, these, that, the way people are doing business, big corporations, the way they are doing their businesses, greed, there's a big judgment that has come against greed. Greed for money, greed for control, greed for power. God is bringing people from the outside to take over the inside for good. Because those in the inside have become lazy. They are not willing to follow God's way. So God is now going out there to look for people outside the church, outside the business premises. He's looking for meek, smart, intelligent, and God-fearing people. People who are not swayed by money, swayed by power, swayed by knowledge. It will take a second and something will snap on Wall Street and everything will begin to crumble. It will take a second in the supernatural for things to, 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 to give way and things will begin to crumble left, right and center. And we will say why. It takes a second for a bad sickness to come and people will not know how to handle it. People of God, all I'm saying is that the spirit of blessing has started and the spirit of judgment is in full blown. 
the alarm has been sounded. And this trumpet is coming in twofold. It is coming as a warning and a call to repentance. It is also a call to joy for those of you who are in good standing with God. The Feast of Trumpet reminds us of the rapture that is coming. God will not wait to see us suffer. God is not going to watch his sons suffer. That's why there will be a rapture at the sound of the last trumpet. If Jesus comes back now, we will all go before the major big events of suffering will come upon the end. But it has started slowly. But this is not the time for you to be afraid. It is the time for the sons to buy property, to take over businesses. It is the time for us to multiply. But for those in the other camp, it is the time of terror. I'm going to share with you guys what is going to happen with all the terrorists in the world, what is going to happen with Russia, what is going to happen with China, what is going to happen in the U.S. For example, right now, the U.S. should be preparing for major warfare. Major war. It's even going to be worse with Europe. They should be preparing for major war against those that they have fed, whom they've pitied and brought in. The three major feasts, trumpet, atonement, and tabernacle, speaks very strongly of political things and upheavals coming upon the earth. I want us to pray tonight and begin to ask God for power to do major battles. These are going to be days that we are going to harvest. God is going to use us to bring people to the kingdom. And it's going to happen through signs and wonders. It's going to happen when they hear your voice, it carries with it. Power. It's not going to come through cold and calculated Christianity. It's going to come by mighty act of the Holy Ghost. These are the days that sickness will be vanishing from people's lives. Just by a touch or by a word from the living God. And it is also the time that your enemies are going to pay price for their stupidity, arrogance, and pride. The enemy is preparing for war. The enemy, both physically and supernaturally, they are preparing for war against your life. And God want to use you to do mighty battles on the earth. I want you to begin to pray today and say, God, take me into 2015 already tonight. I want you to begin to pray that. Pray it aloud. Take me into 2015 tonight. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Don't keep quiet. Take me and do take me and do mighty things. Let the spirit of the blessing begin to run in me 
And if there is anything in me that is going to stop the spirit of the blessing and the spirit of joy, God put an end to it. The enemy has been keeping, let me tell you, for the past seven years, Satan and human beings have been keeping the things that you should have had. As this trumpet has been blown tonight, tell God, at the sound of that trumpet, I want everything that was stolen from me, taken away from me, or that was stopped from coming to me, I want them to happen to me now. If you are going to be sincere to yourself, if you will be sincere, you will know that most things that have been happening in your life has been happening in a seven-year period cycle. The last 14 years, the last seven years, your divorce happened within seven years period, divorces are happening. Businesses are closing. I want you to tell God, every opportunity and privileges that will close against me during today's feast of trumpet, I want them to open again. You have not been able to buy the house you want to buy or the car you want to buy or to have the, the, the peace of mind you are supposed to have because things have been locked with keys and chained down against you. Tell God that those things must be broken today. Marriages were broken within the last seven years. And I want you to begin to pray that in any way that you've wronged God, your family has departed from God. We have given attention to things of this age and ourselves instead of to God, to cry to the Holy Ghost. Let repentance rise up from the earth so that the book of life is filled with our names and not the book of death. Let's begin to pray. Father, in Jesus' name. I come in repentance, Lord, I repent, and I seek your face, I seek your face, Lord, I seek your face with humility, every sin I've committed, Father, I repent of them, I let them go, I seek your face, I embrace you as my Savior and Lord and owner. Let not the sins of the past seven years be held against me anymore because I hold on to the lamb and unto his blood and unto his name and unto his wounds. 
Lord, touch me mightily. Anoint me anew. Anoint me anew with new powers. New prosperity, new blessings, Lord. Remove every judgment that we passed against my life, against my ministry, against my family, against my children. Lord, remove every judgment that have been passed against your church, against your people on this line tonight, against my ministry partners. Lord, begin to destroy the spirit of judgment that we passed against them, whether because of their own faults or because of other things or because of mistakes or ignorance. Lord, begin to forgive their sins. In the name of Jesus, break the power of sin, the presence of sins, the pool of sins. Break them, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Just as we amen. await the rapture, that is how we await his favor on us today. People of God, I'm going to share something with you right now. There is going to be a major shift of inheritance, a major shift of power. A dissolution of governments. People are going to rise up against their government. Against their leaders. The wind has started. The wind is blowing. It's on. I want you to go in peace. And be quiet. Because while they are eating and drinking, a sudden destruction comes upon them. But you who fears the Lord, you are the one who is going to gain everything. I will see, I will see you by 12 noon central time tomorrow. If you, if you are not able to make it at that time because you are at your job, and if you are not able to listen in, muting your phone, then I'll see you by 6 p.m. today in the evening. And I will continue ministering. There will be a lot of prophetic things happening tomorrow. We'll continue ministering at 9 p.m. Central Time. God bless you. Go with this blessing as uh, the shofar is blown again. I will dismiss you after this. sounded both on earth and in the supernatural and the alarm for God's favor has been sounded I will see you. Revelation 19 I saw heaven standing open and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called faithful and true with justice he judges